Hey, this is Dave at HouseBarons.com. Today we're talking about sprinkler heads and how to fix or replace a sprinkler head. Uh, every once in a while, these heads get damaged, uh, whether it be a lawnmower or a rock or just age. And when that happens, you gotta either call someone or you can do it yourself. Uh, this is such an easy task. You've, if you've watched any of our videos, you know that we try to show you how to do a job so you can save a lot of money in the process. As you're gonna soon see, this task is so simple, you could just have your kids watch the video and replace it for you. So let's go ahead and get started and we'll show you how. So half the work is replacing, half the work is taking care of the adjustments to make sure that the sprinkler is sprinkling in the exact right place that you want it to do. Again, none of this is really complicated. Specifically, we're looking at Rainbird sprinklers, but whether it's Hunter, Orbit, or Rainbird, they all have the operate under the basic same principles. So uh, we'll go ahead and show you how to replace a Rainbird sprinkler and the same, same concepts apply. This is the makeup of your sprinkler system. So you have your main PVC trunk line, it's rigid, it goes in this direction and that, and off of that are fittings with a smaller, more flexible pipe and these go to each of your sprinkler heads. So when your sprinkler heads are buried to here or here, you just clear away the dirt from the top, unscrew the internals, pulls out, and replace them. That's if your damage is limited to this portion of the sprinkler head. If the body's been damaged, then it's gonna take you a little bit more time and you have to dig this out all the way down to where this has no dirt around it you want to make sure that this is relatively clean because what you're going to do is cover this with some sort of baggie. You want to keep that inlet free of debris in every way. But you don't want any dirt falling in there or else you're going to end up clogging your nozzle. So this takes a little bit more care. But again, it's pretty easy. Just unscrew this, replace it, and screw it back in. You know, it's also important to know your sprinkler heads, depending on the type of sprinkler they are, like this one's gear driven and it's meant for larger distances and this is more of a pattern sprinkler. There are different sizes on the bottom, so you have to be careful about that, that you're replacing like for like. And if you're not, then you end up having to replace this elbow as well. Uh, so that's just, a, just food for thought. So we're replacing this sprinkler here in the yard, which was broken and just taking the entire sprinkler out, putting in a brand new one I just picked up at the store. It's not the exact same model number. This is a 42 SA, they make 32 SA, 52 SA. They're, they're all kinds of different models, but it's basically the same rotor sprinkler. So I'm replacing a rotor sprinkler with a rotor sprinkler or same size inlets. Once you have your sprinkler replaced, it's in the ground, it's where it's gonna sit you have to adjust them. If you get a brand new, uh, say like this is an 1800 series SAM, if you go ahead and have a brand new one like this, you can simply pull up on this ring, hold the turret so it doesn't go back down, take this off, and put a new nozzle on there. Once the new nozzle is on there, you're gonna have to adjust it so that the orientation of that nozzle uh, fits the pattern that you want to spray on the ground. And to adjust that so it points the right direction, you take your, put your hand around this turret and just turn it. And you can hear what the sound it makes. I'm turning it clock. This one is turns clockwise and you can get that, that nozzle uh, in its right pattern. And then down it goes. If the sprinkler already has the nozzle in it, like this one here, uh, each each sprinkler company makes a, a tool. This is basically a screwdriver, flathead screwdriver for this one. So you can pop that up. Again, this is just a nozzle. This is a pattern nozzle. I already have uh, water filters in there and you can see the water filters do a really good job of catching grime and stuff that gets in the pipes anyway. And then you simply put that back on. And this one is a, a 15 SST. So it, what it does is sprays a a 15 foot by five foot rectangular pattern, which is kind of cool for strip areas by sidewalks in, in the front of your house, say. Um, and they make, they literally make nozzles for almost every single imaginable pattern. Again, once that's, once it's in the ground, 
uh, it has to adjust its, adjust its uh, orientation by turning this turret uh, clockwise. These gear driven ones are a little bit different and you can see top of that. So there's several different places here. Again, this tool by this little tool by Rainbird is made to work all of these. Uh, first and foremost is the one that's shaped like that, like the tool itself. And you can put it in this hole down, turn it a quarter of a turn and then pull up and it pulls that, it pulls the whole turret up. These are under a lot of pressure. So it takes a, it takes a, a little bit of strength to pull that up, but that's how we'll, when you pull that up, you, you can replace the nozzle. And that's where the nozzle is on this one. And you can see a 3.0 on that. That's a three, three gallon per minute nozzle. And that little screw in the front right there will, can be raised up and down to adjust, to interfere with the pat, the spray pattern to uh, make it shorter, shorter or longer. And then finally, on this portion right here, you see a, a plus sign, a minus sign, and then the arrow can turn either way. You can increase or decrease the amount of the arc of the spray. So um, there's a little screw in there, and you can once you feel it, you, once you get this in here, you can kind of feel it go into the screw, and then now you can adjust it more or less, more or less arc. And that's once you get it in the ground. You start with this sprinkler in the ground, and you need to get it to its left stop. So you pull up. The turret. And again, it takes a little bit of strength here to hold this. And then this, you can turn this to the right or to the left. If it doesn't turn one way, try the other. And so that's its current left and right stop. That's as far, that's as far to the left as it goes, and this one will continue to there. So bring it to its left stop, and then I can I can make this by turning this this way, turned it one turn, now, I, now I'll get more of a arc on it. So, so I increase it from here to here just by simply turning, adjusting it right in the plus or minus area. So the key to, to these is once the sprinkler heads in is adjusting the left stop, turning it to where you want it to stop on the left hand side of the arc and then uh, by adjusting this plus or minus, by increasing or decreasing this, this screw right here, you can increase or decrease the amount of sweep or the amount of arc that you get in, in the uh, rotor itself. You can take an old broken sprinkler like this and replace it with a new one like this in just a matter of minutes. Hope this video helps. If you got anything out of it, give us a thumbs up. We appreciate it. Please don't forget to subscribe. We've got lots more videos coming. Thanks a lot for watching, and we'll see you next time.